Audio Jungle. smart assist. Again, another thing for service, and we are very uh, glad to, to announce to you that very soon we are going to launch this service offering to our customers, and we call it remote assistant. Remote assistant. Okay? So, ano naman yung gamit ng uh, remote assistant? I'm sorry. Okay, nawala yung aking remote assistant. Anyway, Remote assistance, the objective actually is to uh, minimize, for example, in terms of Rico Philippines, you minimize yung, yung cost in terms of our field engineers or technicians going to the customer side whenever they have problems. They will call our um, customer care and then they will say, I cannot print, my paper is jamming, ano nangyayari? Go here, diba? I want it now, mga ganyang, ganyang tawag, diba? But with remote assist, remote or remote assistant, what we're going to do is we will have like our own call center filled with very good technician who can assist our customers over the phone. But paano yun ma-address ng technician? How can he know the problem of our customers? Again, using our smart operation panel. Okay? So the concept here is like you've seen earlier, eto right now, mini-mirror or nire remote ng technician namin yung SOP of our customers. So they will talk over the phone and then the, the te technician can see that operation panel of our customers. He can dictate, okay, click this one or press this one. But of course, because of security reasons, we will always ask the customer to provide that code if they're agreeing or approving for us to remote their machine. So palaging ganun. Laging merong uh, approval muna from our um, customers. Okay? So, normally, the technician should be uh, knowledgeable enough to, to address those uh, inquiries. Because according to research, around 75 to 80 percent of the calls coming from our customers, eh, ito yung mga technically kahe namang uh, i-fix by themselves. So it saves cost and time for us and at the same time for our customers also. So we have here, for example, on how to set this up. Okay, so Kit, can we demonstrate? So, ito yung parang um, instruction ng uh, technician namin over the phone. Go to your SOP, click the moon icon on your SOP. Uh, 
Then uh, after you release your finger, may pop up na message siya, no? So it's like na uh, nagsipin viewer kayo nung sa client niya, no? Uh, kung sa, ang area parang nagre-remove desktop kayo, <coughs> ano? Yes. Yung client, no? So mapapap up dyan yung, so, So, kasi nakakonect na tayo, so hindi ko na magpapakita sa inyo yung ano, yung... Assuming uh, that the agree? customer gave the permission already. Actually, it's agreement, no? Kung mag-agree kayo dun sa magiging, ano nyo, no, yung connection nyo, okay? So, once na kinlek nyo yung, yung yes, so nag-agree kayo sa agreement dun, so mag-create yan ng, ng ano, receipt number, no? Or parang yung password nyo, no? So, and then, once na hingi ng ano yun, ng operator namin, then in-inform dun sa, sa ano namin, no, sa remote operator tool, then magka ano na, mag-co-connect na sila rin. Then yan na may kita natin yung ano yan. Usually, anong requirements yun? Actually, ano lang, uh, internet. Kailangan naka-connect sa internet yung ano natin. IP address, o. Basta may internet na siya, so mga connector sa remote server ng mga ano, so kaya yung mga ano namin, then pwede lang ano, makapag ano na sila, makapag-meet out. So free naman yung church ng... Free naman. Free yung church, no? Depende sa contract sa contract. Ayun, no? And so pag, once na nakapag-connect na sila, so ito na, no? Pwede, pwede na kayo i-type nung operator namin, pwede ni remotely no, i-control yung panel nyo para may, may configure yung system nyo, mag-adjust ng setting, or pwede nung i-guide lang kayo, no, bibigyan lang kayo ng kung saan i-pindutin nyo, or bibigyan kayo ng kanyang highlights ng mga i-pindutin nyo, or yung po, ito pa rin i-remote yung ano nyo, yung panel. So, same screen yun na yun? Same screen yun, ganto ganto. That's another another um, interesting effort from Rico Philippines <coughs> to provide um, quality service to our customers. And did you know, of course, speaking of service, uh, only Rico Philippines is the one um, um, actually we provide uh, iPads to our field technicians. Yes, so lahat sila, they're using their, their iPads. Whenever they go to the customers, they pick something automatically in real time, they send out reports to us. So the clients will also confirm and sign using the, the iPad. So that's something that's, um, that's the value eh, that the Rico Philippines is actually giving to our customers because Sir Eric mentioned that's our, our differentiating factor. We need to, or we will provide continuously high quality service to our customers. Okay, so there you have it. So you've seen our latest products. We have the multi-function printers, the color uh, multi-function printers. We have the ultra short throw projector, the PJWX4152N. And of course, our 65-inch interactive whiteboard and our service offering, the smart assist and then the remote assistance. So that is our offering. We are RICO. That's how we cater to the customer needs. Diba? from SMB or to the corporate um, industry. So we have the products to start your digital workplace. All right, so later if you want to if you want us to demonstrate more applications, and please, I will request, but we will show it to you later. Okay, but for now, thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Hannah, for explaining and giving us first-hand information of the new office productivity solutions of Rico. Now, I myself, you know, I want to try their new products, but I am sure many of you would like to ask questions about the Rico. It's, it's so with that, I would like to call on once again our president and CEO, Mr. Eric Sunit. The head of our product management group, Ms. Hannah Castillo, and Mr. Orly Closa, General Manager of Customer Service. Please join us here in front. And How about the photocopier? Uh, still, malaki pa rin siya. Napakabito. Napakalaki pa rin niya. Can't reduce the size of it. Ganyan na ba talaga siya? 
So actually, we have uh, smaller units. But uh, this one, the, the, the ones that we are showing are the heavier duty ones. Uh, that, that's why they're, they're this big. No? Uh, also, in terms of uh, parts and serviceability, it's a big form factor. Or it's a big comment about it. Um, like uh, what uh, Mr. Sulit mentioned, that uh, we have different um, um, types or types of uh, machines. So it starts from um, segment one up to segment uh, six, actually. But um, it all depends on the customer requirement. Mostly, uh, those that are small machines are desktop uh, machine, meaning to say it's a on the table, and then ready on the But uh, the, the thing is, ang the question is, how much is the volume? So, of course, logically, Kung ang volume ay maliit, then we could offer smaller machine that would fit to a small space and that would fit to a small volume. But when it comes to functionality, let's say uh, this, this function that uh, was uh, Ms. Anna mentioned earlier, so sa mga malalaking machine natin siya makikita. And uh, of course, in terms of uh, reliability, so ito yung mga machine na kayang mag-produce ng malalaking volume per month. Per day, depending on the requirement. So I would say it's still based on the requirement of the customer. So, but we do have a variety of models that we, that you could choose from. So we also have um, mono that is desktop, but there are limitations actually. Like for example, those desktop machines can only print on A4 and long uh, uh, paper size. So, so yeah, that, that was A3. Na hindi mo siya makikita sa mga uh, maliliit na machines. So, it all boils down to the customer requirement. But as for um, our product lineup, we do have from smaller machines to the bigger ones. Another question is, uh, yung protector, it has a type of uh, internet connectivity. It has, so, I can... Uh, connect to it through Wi-Fi. Yes, object um, video. Uh, yes, Actually, um, we have a model that uh, have um, ad hoc um, Wi-Fi connection. We need to say you don't need to go to the um, network of a company, but you can connect directly from from your PC or your laptop to the project or Wi-Fi ad hoc of uh, Wi-Fi connection. This one here. Yes. And uh, the advantage of this is. It can actually broadcast the presentation to the different devices around. Uh, so, yeah. so, for example, in the conference room, you have your own tablets. So, when you broadcast them to the tablets, you save the So, they won't be looking anymore at the screen on the, their laptop. Na lang. Yeah, <laughs> you know, if the screen is uh, like the size. Yeah, the yeah. So they have the convenience to put yeah. laptops or tablets. How many can connect? Four. So up to four. Yes, uh, but we have other models that can connect more. Right? Yeah. Okay. okay, last question. Uh, I understand we're going digital, right? So, uh, are you, uh, based on your records, what are you threatened by? Because print is becoming almost dead, and everyone's going online, digital. So, yung records to back for the printing requirements, no matiba or still the same. So, uh, again, let me address that. No? In other countries, the more advanced countries, it's happening already. Because what's happening is that the more advanced countries, they want to go uh, mobile workforce. Meaning, the workforce can be anywhere. They can be at home, they can be at the field, they can be in coffee shop. And when you do mobile workforce, you're forced to have uh, approvals online. So, the e online and that. One of the big uses of paper is uh, document approval. Eh. Ngayon dito sa Pilipinas, hindi pa nangyayari yun. Uh, we, we're eventually going to, towards that uh, phase. But right now, the document volumes are still growing. Ngayon, having said that, uh, I think I showed part of the strategy a while ago. <clears throat> part of what we want to do is go to document management uh, solutions. So we're offering document management solutions. Meaning, we have solutions 
that will actually compete with drinking. Okay lang yun, kasi that's where the industry is going. If we don't change, if we don't adapt, then you know, we will also lose out. So we recognize that there's this uh, change that's going on. And yes, we do have the products that can address it. Kasi one of the biggest, for Filipino corporations, what I see, is one of the biggest concerns is how to move from paper to uh, digital uh, workflow, or digital documents. So we have those solutions that won't make it too difficult for you to move from from digit from uh, sorry from analog or from you know uh, physical document to digital mas madali. and we can integrate both in any point at the approval of the approval process and still route the documents uh, whether digital or uh, paper based. So then do that because I'm in document management namin. and uh, we're not. You know, we're not running away from it. In fact, we're embracing it. We know that it will happen. That's why we are uh, regulating it. Thank you. Uh, one more thing. Now, having said that, yung ano kasi, uh, print is still not going away. Still, there is use for marketing material on print. So, alam ko, medyo, uh, there's a lot of marketing material being disseminated online now. But uh, still, there's still a lot of uh, print uh, going on still. And the trend of print will be from, uh, kasi mga offset, like I said, yung offset presses, long run yan eh, so malaking volume. The trend will be going short run. And not only short run, the prints will be personalized. So variable data printing. So we, we're into that as well. So I believe currently, with what we, our current portfolio is good enough to address uh, three years out, the needs of the, of the businesses three years out. More than that, uh, we're, there's still technologies that we're looking at. Um, globally, uh, we think that printing is going to move to 3D, uh, and then from 3D, all the way to uh, biomechanics. Meaning, we'll be able to print a uh, kidney out of uh, human DNA. So the, the possibilities are, are still endless for printing, no? Madami pa tayo, yes, para mababuhay. Madami pang pwedeng gawin, no? There's still a lot of uh, opportunities in printing, so we're still optimistic uh, with this industry. Uh, we do, but we're not offering it here. Yeah. Not in the Philippines. Our 3D printing is uh, being used for manufacturing. So it's really these uh, heavy duty 3D printers. We have uh, no, no. Uh, the printers have uh, physical security, meaning uh, password, biometric authentication, or uh, RFID. So that's a security that, that we have. The document uh, transmission itself it's uh, transmitted by uh, you know internal protocols uh, that are non standard. So you know even if you intercept the file you won't be able to decode it immediately. You know? uh, but having said that, we still believe in having a secure network uh, overall. So even here in the Philippines, we secure our network. We, we go through lots of uh, tests to be able to make sure that our network is uh, secure from external attacks or even internal attacks. Uh, for the remote assistance feature, uh, can we still deploy that to 2015 version? Yes, actually, if uh, if the light has been 
uh, it's a license being purchased by Rico Philippines. So we, we are the ones investing for that particular solution. But it has to have this. Uh, Yes, of course, the machines of the customer should have this as uh, the latest model with smart operation plan. It's free for them. It's an added feature, added value for them. Yes. With regards to document transfer, how should they be? Yes, good afternoon again. In the chat from today online. My question is with regards to document transfer. This is like uh, uh, duplicating the document, and you know, these are like um, certified things. Those are the things. Uh, uh, document transfer. Right. Uh, the, the, the files are sent to the copier. Like with, the, with regards to like uh, documents, like titles or the IDs, it could be like duplicate or you could transfer it. Ah, yeah. Okay. So. I guess this is part of our no, no, this is part of our document management uh, solution. So what's going to happen is that um, so for example, uh, you have a purchase order that is uh, is uh, generated by the system and then somebody signed it. No, uh, lang, the final approver is not on hand, so you can scan the document and you can route it through the workflow engine of the document management solution and then the approver who is even outside of the country can approve it. So, so that's what I was talking about is that you can integrate both the printed and the digital document. So the approval workflow I think was approved uh, uh, physically and then because the next approver is not present physically he can approve digitally. So that's part, and then after the approval, the document gets uh, forwarded and then archived. So you can actually uh, do away with the uh, physical document. Sorry. Thank you. Perhaps I was, perhaps I was thinking about you. There are uh, like our OFWs or the government papers. Mm -hmm. uh, like if, if they require like a PW, you can just like transfer it, you know, and is this also okay? Ah, yung, right. Well, we can uh, do secure printing. Um, ano ba yung ano natin? Secure printing. Secure natin. Um, so, okay, let's put it this way. Um, let's say if if customer have that requirement, then uh, of course we will uh, first check the process. And then uh, that process we will translate into solutions. Then we do have a, a different solutions for different process and different customers' needs. Okay. So with, with regards to that, I guess um, we could have um, solutions that is suited for for the requirements. So um, maybe sangayon we cannot say which which uh, solution is fitted for that. But if uh, that is a um, uh, really a feasible project to work with, then we could find really from the list of solutions that people have to answer the, the needs of the client. So that, that can easily be, be managed. How, how do you... Okay, so we have yeah. one more question. Yeah, yeah please go ahead. Yeah, sorry. Um, I just want to try to catch up earlier. How about public documents? Let's say that I know there are uh, security papers like that, yeah, yes. but uh, that's a big possibility that we can have uh, those government documents. Uh, would you like to take Is there a possibility? Uh, that's a good question. Um, actually, um, most of the machines now have a security features. Like for example, um, hindi lang namin na demo, but let's say if you copy a, um, a dollar bill, let's say SIM dollar or US dollar, it will come out on black. Yes, it has that, that, that feature. And that will uh, um, 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 you know, avoid um, you know, duplication. 
But um, if if you are asking like the my NSO uh, document, um, this uh, document have um, the special paper that you have and this cannot be duplicated actually. You can photocopy it because this is color. It will come out the same same color probably. Pero uh, pagkain is kanyan, there's really some authentication mark na tinitignan ng mga, ng mga agency na tumitignan them whether it's fake or not. And um, the reason why I'm, I'm telling that is that um, previously we're the one servicing the NSO. <laughs> yes. And we've been um, their partner for about three years. And we have deployed a lot of machines uh, nationwide printing all these NSO documents. And these are very special paper. Hindi ito yung pangkaraming mga papelang na pote and then different to na color. No. Mayroon yung, yung, yung sekpa na sinasabi. And then they just print from the sekpa paper, they just print the the image on that paper and come out of us as our uh, NSO document. So, okay. to, to add on to that, because earlier uh, I demonstrated the Easy Plus uh, I mentioned that uh, one ID, for example, you can clone it. We tried using uh, credit card or ATM. It cannot read. The machine cannot read. For security purposes. It cannot read. It's just blank. Yes. Government ID. If, there, if it's a their, their driver's license, it can be. But you may not, you mentioned the, the dollar, credit card, and you know, the machine cannot read. So you cannot duplicate. Kena, kena. 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 K